Hi guys, it's Micah. Today I'm back with a movie, Night Card. <laughs> it's um, using Newton's Nuke Movie Night stamp and a 6x6 card base. I couldn't fit it on a normal size card, uh, 10 by 15 centimeters, because of the treats. But I um, made two panels, 6x6, and I marked the, the side because it's not actually 6x6, it's 15 by 14.85 because of our metric size paper, but that's okay. I die cut a rectangle with rounded edges because I thought that looked like a screen. And although the kitties are looking the other way, <laughs> I still wanted it to be the, the screen. And um, I, I contemplated also getting those curtains from my favorite things, but I don't think they would fit and they were <laughs> too expensive. <laughs> so I'm putting vellum on the front just because it makes it look well silky screen, silver screen, I don't know, but still see through. <laughs> These are the trees I have. These are from Haribo. And there's packets are all the same and they're quite thick. Which I wasn't really prepared for in a card because uh, yeah, that will take lots of foam tape. So I, I devised a different method. And the one I had in my head didn't work out <laughs> as I had in my head. So you will see that later. But then I'm gonna cover up or make a pouch with this panel. Um, but to access the goodies, the treats, I'm going to create like an open window pocket. So I'm marking where I want the glue to go, but not, um, I don't, don't want it to see. So I now know where I can put it. It's probably <laughs> surplus to requirements, but better save the story. See, that's the idea. And I will flatten all the treats in there, but there's also air. And at this time I don't have a movie night gift card, so just pretend this is one. <laughs> he has googly eyes. It could be a monster movie. But that's just for show. And I run out the corners on the outside just to mimic the screen. And you can of course use any die cut that you have. Um, rectangles. I have one that has a very ornate frame to go with it. So if you're in one of those old fashioned movie theaters, that might be nice for you. And uh, see, I have a front which is now nicely covered so you can't see the glue, but I cannot attach it to the back. So I forgot I needed to cut the window in there as well. See, this is the ornate one. It's pretty. But it's, uh, this is more retro, like 1930s Art Deco <laughs> shape, I think. So I remember the other windows, I measured them to be straight and in the middle. So they line up perfectly. And so <laughs> I need to line this up perfectly as well. So I'm just measuring it to make sure it's in the same position. And it doesn't move when I pick it up to go to the die cutting machine. That would be bad. I, I suppose you could make it a little bit smaller, but uh, I didn't want to do that because <laughs> I, I like the light to shine through. And then you can see edges. No, I don't want that. So I cut it off screen. And now you can see it will all be seamless. Hopefully. <laughs> so for the sentiment, there are sentiments in the set, but a little bit small for my really big card. I mean, for a normal card, it would be f stupendous. But I went to grab the Enjoy 
uh, from a cross sensation set actually, but it doesn't really matter which one you use. And um, I just like this is a bit bolder, a bit fatter, a bit bigger. So that would see. <laughs> you can't even see the other one. So just lining it up in the corner and I'm stamping it Versafine Clear Nocturne Ink. <laughs> Pressing it really well. Make sure it's done correctly. So I can set that up to dry while I color Newton and his friends or her friends or I don't know <laughs> maybe their brother and sister and nephew niece <laughs> I don't know it doesn't matter I pulled out the dry blends I have them all now I wonder if they will come out with more colors because I miss a dark gray ice gray and a brown gray for darker furry cats like black cats like mine so <laughs> I will turn on the music and then I will catch you after the coloring enjoy
So I find with this tri blend that some are really samey, so <laughs> there's almost no contrast, and some have m meh, more contrast, like this dull green. They're harder to blend, but I think it's fine. I, I could have left out the darker or just do the middle as the light tone. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's a shadow, it could be a bit harsher. So, to make my dimension, I have cut strips that are actually left over from the panel I cut up for the 6x6 and I scored them five times at a quarter inch so this is one and a quarter inch strip that is divided into five and five is because four is of course your square but then you need to glue it so that's the fifth one and um, I started I, I left it in because so you can see I wanted to miter them so the corners join up like you know in carpentry and they look nice and well it, it worked in my head not so much in my uh, <laughs> in my card or on my card so I did leave this in I'm using the 45 degree angle on my triangular ruler so this should always fit and now I look at it, I'm not sure they are both the same angle. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see. But yeah, that's the... Hmm. I am not sure. It's okay. I don't care. I didn't work for me, so I decided to just make uh, straight edges. So on some sides, you can see uh, the, the, the edges of your let's say box or dimension and you can of course use foam tape or craft foam but you will need a lot just for that candy and I was a little lucky because I don't think one quarter was enough but because the vellum and the acetate are a little bit bendy you know I could fit in a little belly there um, but yeah as I said it would make the card very heavy and yeah, so I opted for this, so you don't have to, of course, if you don't want to. Also, I forgot, because when I was thinking up this card, I thought I should make a false bottom, so my <laughs> treat pouch doesn't sink all the way, just like with shaker cards, you know? But I forgot. And that's because I ran out of this strip, I think, <laughs> and I was just happy to go around all the corners. I, I, I show you two, and then I cut the rest out. Because, you know, seeing me fiddle with tape is a swig. So I just basically fold it up or roll it up and then stick the fifth side onto each other. And that's nice and light and yeah. As I said, the idea in my head. <laughs> sometimes they don't work as I have in my head. Sometimes they do. Sometimes I think my head is smarter than my hands. Is that possible? <laughs> it's okay. See, the, because I run at the corners, I have to cut off a little bit there as well. But this is the last side. It's a bit fiddly. But I think it's worth it, especially if, if you want to mail it. It won't be really heavy. It might dent if, you know, you step on it because it's hollow. But hey, maybe you can use straws, paper straws as well. Just glue them with your heat gun. Hmm. I might investigate that option uh, next time. <laughs> For now, I have one. Um, as I said, I don't have the gift card yet because um, I believe they are dated. I'm not sure, but I, I want to get it when I really, really need it and not <laughs> have it in my stash and may <laughs> let it expire. Because that makes me really sad. And if you know that someone is going to a specific movie, you could of course, um, instead of using Newton's kitties, uh, maybe use an image of uh, I don't know, Toy Story 4 and what's the other one? Frozen 2 is coming out. and Or Iron Man 20. <laughs> I don't know. I like Iron Man, but... It is mini. It's like I, I, I um, 
watched a few police academies a few years back that were rerunning the whole series and I thought there were like five it turns out there's 15 or so <laughs> yeah, I didn't see them all yeah I lost track somewhere and I also lost interest and I rewatched them they weren't as funny to me now as they were back in the day so putting the two panels together made my dimension and this is where I realized, oh, false bottom, I forgot. You, of course, you want people to see the gift card. So the belly of the candy will stick it. So I will just stick it to the little baggie. Uh, I, uh, I was looking, can I put something in there? But I wasn't going to risk it. And this is the card base and the back. So it, it all neatens it up nicely. And you see, from the top, I have a one piece and it looks nice. And then on the sides, you can peek inside. So, you know, with straws, you would have the same just round, but it would look nicer. So you see, you can put the gift card the other way, but then it looks silly. And yeah, I'm fine with it. I mean, <laughs> it's just a vessel to give the uh, treat and gift card, so. I decided to just tape it to my little treat and I chose this one it's actually from a supermarket but it's green and <laughs> the green chairs and as I said I don't have a movie card yet but it's fine and uh, yeah I hope you like it and I uh, I enjoyed picking it actually I enjoyed coloring it because the kitties and uh, maybe movie card gift card pouch 2.0 We'll have neater edges. We'll see. <laughs> if I come up with a different solution, I will let you know. Short of using wood dowels. But yeah, I'm not doing that. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.